me, Jack Arjun, welcome back to my channel. We've got an unboxing to today, which is to do, it's a PC. It's one of the low budget PCs you can pick up for about under 200 quid. They can't, don't come with OS, so you can install what you want. The Zoom Storm, which is pretty good. I've seen quite a few times come up on eBay and various places for, I'll get one. You can buy it with operating system if you want to, you pay a bit more, you pay over 200 quid. But you're looking for a PC that you can decide what you want to install, you, you can. So this is a, a, a eight, eight gigabyte, um, 8 gigabyte memory and 2 terabyte hard drive. Um, I can't remember what the actual spec of the processor is. It's uh, la, 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 la. we'll have a look inside anyway, what the spec is anyway. But if you're looking for a PC that you can put your own OS on it, this is the one to look at basically. So let's have a look what's inside the box. So I just got it in today. Um, and it's great, good for low budget stuff. So PC for 200 quid, doesn't come with um, Monitor, monitor you have to buy yourself, but um, it does come with keyboard and mouse and full fledged PC. And all you need is put, put your own operating system on it. As I said, you can buy it with an operating system if you want to Windows 10, Windows 8, and I think Windows 7 you can probably get as well. Let's just get out of the box. There we go. Right, it's a box that we're done with. Actually, if we correct on that, it doesn't come with a keyboard. Oh, and it's hard to get into. <laughs> <laughs> with plastic on the front. Oh dear, that's totally covered in plastic. There you go. Oh, I almost broken it. <laughs> so there we go. So we got So there's a Storm PC, it's a bit rushing around, it's hard to get out of those bloody boxes. So there's, there's your Storm um, PC. Correctly, it does not come with a keyboard. I thought they did actually, because I'm sure the website said it did. No. Well, what you get is, it's got a nice, nice case though, really nice case. As you can see, the front is really nicely polished off and finished with this. I've seen another one similar to this one. So they've changed the front design a little bit more now, made it look a bit more slicker, basically. But it doesn't come with a keyboard. The last one I brought, it did come with a keyboard. But obviously no keyboard, so you need to get a keyboard. So literally what you're getting is the, the PC itself. Um, they give you a, a plug socket. They give you a manual, which is gigabyte motherboard. Oh, that's the question I was actually going to speak. What motherboard is in supplied with it? So we can see what the actual specs are and we can see where it's upgradable as well. So if you're looking for a low budget PC, you can't build them these this, these cheap. These are just under 200 quid. What you can see is a full fledged uh, Intel iCore 5 processor, gigabyte motherboard, even if you buy the gigabyte motherboard, I think separately, you're still paying over 200 quid. So this is the best way of buying it. Buy one of these, with no operating system on it, and fit what you want in it. Even the terabyte drive uh, these days are nearly sort of 80, 90 quid. They're quite pricey, you know? So. You can't build them as cheap as this. This is brilliant. So, so you've got a decent motherboard. Think about the motherboard. Intel processor i Core 5. So it's not one of seller on cheap shits. You've got a full manual, manual here and they also supply you with the driver CD as well, depending on what you wanted to install, which is fantastic. Um, and then also you've got the Storm, dear customer, blah, blah, blah. And it gives you all the downloads and support on there. Nice, nice. So let's have a nose inside. So on the front here, we've got uh, Two USB ports, I assume there'll be USB 3 ports, or they're just standard. No, there's just standard ports at the front, because normally USB 3 are marked up with little blue bits inside where they're black, so they're just standard uh, twos. Microphone head socket, obviously light for your um, hard drive. Jack button, and it comes, oh, it comes with a CD DVD writer as well. I didn't actually know it comes with a CD DVD writer, so that's a bonus. And on the back, we've got um, power supply, Got your normal sockets, USB. I don't know when they come with these old uh, old keyboard things. Nobody has them anymore. It's all USB stuff now, so it's important it's actually installed in it. So you've got two types, VGA and the, the DVI port. 
got no you've got no um hdmi on it at all one ethernet port you've got another two usb ports and then two usb three ports in the back microphone head jack as normal and if you're looking to build a cheap gaming machine and they want to spend a fortune for it under 200 pound for this box spend another 50 or 100 pound on a graphics card so you've got plenty of slots to put a graphics card in here so you can get your gaming card in there and it'll be quite reasonable it's got two terabyte storage so brilliant for storing your games and stuff and let's have a look inside to see if we can actually any space to upgrade or if there's any components we can upgrade it comes with eight gigabyte of ram and i'm sure with that motherboard i'm sure it can go higher so we can get more out of it oh took the wrong side off <laughs> let's take the right side off so. so sides are easy to get off they're hand screwed in so you don't have to use any screwdrivers so you've got the hard drive here we'll go to we'll look at this camera here so we've got the hard drive here so you that's the standard C, uh, C ATA hard drive that's two terabyte so there also is room to put in a few more so you can fit one in the top bay here squeeze one another above it, above it and another one below it so you can have add more on it it's got four uh, uh c to three or a c to uh, adapters on board so you can have up to um three hard drives in one go but it's again there's plenty of there's an expansion port for a good graphics card on on there as well and i suppose you could probably and you've got one stick of eight eight um gig of ram so this looks like this motherboard will take up to uh, 16 in total so 16 gig of ram in total you could probably get on this if we look at the, the manual very quickly we will probably just verify that very quickly um so look going through it's the motherboard so look at spec most of them are 16 most of these ones are 16 um do, 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 do. so look but um cpu we'll have a look anyway i'll put the details below anyway so i assume this is one stick of eight gigs so i assume another there's a single slot for more so this will definitely take 16 gigs in total and it's very much similar to a board i had anyway intel processor which is the that's the standard intel fan that comes with a processor so i suppose in a way you could upgrade the processor on this as well if you were at a later date so it's very upgradable if you wanted to it's very easy to turn it into uh, a, a gaming PC. I wouldn't say a, a, a fantastic, powerful gaming PC, but enough to sort of get you started in that right direction and stuff. And I suppose you can, if you want to use it for editing and stuff like that, there's still room to put more stuff in to make it an editing machine as well, especially editing in 4K. Then you definitely need a graphics card for a, a DVI uh, HDMI output anyway, because this doesn't come with one on board. But for, uh, for a PC under, under 200 quid, that's not bad. That is not bad going. Yeah. Pucker. Anyway, so if you like that, we're going to um, install Windows 10 on this. So I'm not going to actually bore you with that. If you want to see how Windows 10 installed, there's a video on my channel you can click on and uh, see, uh, see it installed. Um, but it's going to be Windows 10 installed as a normal, normal desktop PC. Um, yeah, so I'm um, chuffed with that. So we're going to look at some more of these type PCs. But this is the only one I've, I've looked around a lot on, on websites. And the Storm seems to be the cheapest PC you can buy, and I thought buying it, getting it in here, I thought it might stick some really crap um, Intel processor in it, maybe one of the Celeron's and stuff, because the Celeron boards don't allow you to go up any higher, but this one seems to be reasonably good. So I'm going to check out the actual um, instruction booklet very shortly to see exactly what else Intel processor you can go up to, and obviously just double check the RAM as well. I'm going to put all the details below for you here, to, um, so you can know this is a, a box. So if you're looking at starting in gaming for first time off, this is the box to go for if you're going in video editing for the very first time it's a good starter box to start with especially if you're under 200 pounds so at least you can get this started in the right direction and add the bits each month when you get paid um, and add it in there then once you get to a decent spec make some decent amount of money on your video editing or you get running a gaming channel you make some decent money on youtube then you can put that towards buying uh, or building another bigger box but at least just get you on the right step uh, in the right direction so hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. We'll do some we'll do some memory tests and speed tests and stuff like this on this um, PC. Like any PC I'm going to review, we'll do speed tests so we can compare them with other machines later as well. We'll put all the details below as well. And uh, we'll, we'll do a speed test video on this a bit later date as well so you can see 
in motion. We'll test everything out inside. Won't put anything in it. We'll just test it as standard as it is. And, um, and we'll do it that way. So if, uh, I think the next one, if we get one of these in again, we'll stick in a decent video card and um, just sort of show you how easy it is to make a small gaming machine or at least an, an editing machine to get you started in the right, right direction. So um, there we go. There we have it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, thumbs up. Hit my... I'll get it there. I'll get it in a minute. Down the bottom here somewhere. Way down here. Hit hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Any comments you got on this PC spec wise? Any scenarios you're not quite sure if it's for you or not? Comment below. Let me know what you're after, what you're looking to get, or what you're trying to achieve with a, with a PC. And I'll do my best to give you some good uh, tips for you. So thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.